top three things in my notebook this morning, number one, the, the Japanese yen, number two, Italy's stock market, and number three, the price of oil. Uh, so the yen matters because the dollar matters, and the dollar matters because the U.S. government shutdown matters, and the Ben Bernanke also matters. So there's a lot going on there, but uh, one of the things that has not happened this year is the yen breaking out relative to the dollar. It's literally sitting right on our trend line right now. So, again, that's probably the most important thing for you to watch this morning is the dollar versus the yen, given so much correlation risk, uh, certainly lies in that position. And then number two, uh, Italy's got, you know, maybe not as many issues as we have in, in the U.S. this morning from a government perspective, but they have plenty of issues. Uh, it looks like they're basically going to have a no-confidence vote uh, or a confidence vote. Who knows what you have confidence in with these people. But the reality is that that's all going to happen on Wednesday. Uh, Italian stock market, why I care about that. It's the worst performing stock market in Europe this morning. Uh, and, and secondly, it also broke its immediate term trade line of 17,483 support on the MIB index. And then finally, the price of oil, which we've been ball hawking here for a while. Uh, it's finally broken decisively, it looks like, maybe here. Uh, that would be probably the only good thing that I read this morning in terms of at least my own macro playbook. Uh, the price of oil breaking our long-term tail risk line. Again, tail risk to the upside in oil is bad if you're a normal human being who puts gas in their car. Uh, to the downside would be a tax cut, uh, and I, in particular, would enjoy that. Uh, so that's your top three things.